Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50 peas we're hunting through, looking for the commemoratives. One's more than face value, but ideally, the three we're still missing for the book. We need the Kew Gardens to finish page number one, the ultimate holy grail of UK coin hunting. Two Olympics to go, that's gold ball and handball, and that's our Olympic set complete. And then we've got all the more recent ones, up to and including the Memorial 50p with King Charles III on the obverse. Uh, as and when we get news that the Coronation 50p's are going into circulation, we will of course add a slot for those as well. It's quite an exciting prospect. But let's get into this bag and see what we find. The first bag will open in real time and I'll show you what it is that we are looking for. So that shield became the definitive design in 2008. There's a couple of years it didn't circulate, 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18 and 21. And then 2017 is a low minted circulating year. That being 2022 will be something. It's the Platinum Jubilee. Very nice coin. Uh, minted should be fairly high though, so not going to be massively rare, uh, assuming that the finalized mintages is in line with the predicted mintage of 5 million and 70. Of course that's Britannia, uh, definitive design up to 2008 and 2008 is the year to look out for, it's the low minted year. There's another commemorative, this one is Diversity Built Britain, particularly common coin, you should find plenty of those, only worth face value. Oh, what a generous first bag this is, our third commemorative. This is Christopher Einside, it's a very common coin but I keep them all because we're both called Christopher and um, that seemed like a good idea when I didn't have as many as I now have. But any more for any more? No, well, good good start. Three coins from the first bag. Let's see. Oh, we'll speed up and see what else we find. Oh, that's a 2008 Britannia. I don't always spot the key dates as we go through. That's why I keep the Britannias and the shield separate. So at the end of the video, I can whisk through them once again, checking for any dates I might have missed. Now, there's another commemorative. It's representation of the People Act. It's another common coin, but I really like that design. I don't know what it is about it. And there's another one. Mrs. Tiggywinkle from 2016's Beatrix Potter set. Lovely coin, but only face value for that one. And another Diversity for Britain. And there's a Peter Rabbit from 2017. Again, all the 2017 Beatrix Potters are very, very common. Brexit, peace, prosperity and pepperonis make it the breakfast 50p. On this one, check your dates, 31st January 2020, 2020. So that's as it should be. Allegedly, some have left the mint with the uh, wrong dates for the, ori well, the original dates of Brexit before it was uh, postponed and, and done it and uh, kicked down the can and then reminted and then it had to be postponed. So uh, that's what to look for on those. 2020 and more Brexit. Again, correct dates on that one. Expiration dates, all present and correct. Hang about, there we go. King Charles III. It's still kind of bizarre seeing him on coins, especially in the coin hunts. I haven't got all that many of them so far. This is, of course, the Memorial 50p. And again, dates at the bottom there, 2022. If you think you've got an undated one, check that detail. Should be a fairly common one. It's going to be minted up to 9.6 million of them into circulation. Oh, 2016, that's going to be something. Another Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Lovely. So this obverse is the obverse of a Q Gardens 50p. It is also the obverse of a WWF 50p, which again is a nice consolation prize if it's not a Q. But it could also be a Commonwealth Games, which is a very, very common coin. So let's cross our fingers. If this is a Q Garden, what an amazing coin that would be to tick off. Ah, Commonwealth Games. There we go. I have to keep trying for one of those.
Oh, I've got some kitten. Another of the, the 2017 Beatrix Potters. Oh, 2020 again. More pepperonis with the correct expiration date. Uh, more pepperonis with the same correct correct expiration date. Another 2017 Peter Rabbit. Oh, we've got Girl Guiding there. So it's a particularly common coin, but these coins here, the military ones and the culture ones, were restruck in 2019 uh, for the 50 years of the 50p. So you need to check the date on the obverse. That's a 2010 original circulating one, as it should be, because those 2019 restrikes didn't go into circulation. So we'll keep hunting for one because it might turn up. Battle of Britain. So this one could be a 2019 restrike. There's also the alternative portrait, the Ian Rank Broadley fourth portrait of the Queen, which just went into sets. This is a 2015 Jodie Clark portrait, though. That's as it should be in circulation. So nothing too exciting there. Oh, that is another 2008 Britannia. Or oh, Eagle Eyes today, spotting all the key dates. There's our first dictionary. Very, very common coin though. Ah, Pride. This is a relatively new one into circulation. So we don't know final mintages for that, but it is expected to be minted up to 5 million. But final mintages won't come out for a little while now. So I keep them until we find the mintages. If they're very common, I can always cash them back into the bank at 50p a coin, which is exactly what I paid for them. Apologies for the slight cut there, my camera uh, uh, card, card, memory card on the camera filled up so I just had to clear some space. <laughs> something? Another Peter Rabbit. Oh, and there's two in a row. Pride again. Super. And then we've got another dictionary. We're getting a really good spread of commemoratives. Lots of lots of finds so far. There's another 2017 there. Oh, 2017 Shield, one of the key dates. Very cool. Ooh, very nice. Those little onion rings. Very, very cool. So this is Olympic Basketball, one of the 29 Olympic 50Ps. Anytime a 2011 one turns up, that's always very, very good. 
There's another 2017 shield. I spotted that as I flipped it. That's two 2008 Britannias, two 2017 shields. I wonder if there'll be any key dates I've missed. Another Peter Rabbit. <clears throat> Ooh, our second Olympic. Two Olympics in two bags. We've still got one, two, three, four bags left to go. If we end up with one Olympic a bag, that would be an astronomically good hunt. That's a volleyball. Another representation of the people act. Twenty twenty two. There's another pride. That's what our third one today. Oh, there he is, Benjamin Bunny. Can't have a hunt without a Benjamin Bunny, can we? Our most common commemorative circulating 50p, but check for a rotation error. This one doesn't have it, so very, very common. And our first Paddington. Paddington at the Cathedral. All four of the Paddingtons in circulation are very common coins, though. Although this is another 2017. It's another Benjamin Bunny. Without rotation error, sadly. Ooh, Gibraltar referendum. That's a lovely coin to find. Any coin from Gibraltar, Jersey, Guernsey, Isle of Man, Falkland Islands, those kind of places are always rather exciting because it shouldn't be in our mainland UK change. And another Benjamin Bunny, our third one. We've had a bit of a run on the bunnies at the, la at the end of the video then. Right then, last bag of the hunt. A very, very good hunt. Two Olympics, a whole bunch of the new ones, and then a good variety of common coins as well. Um, as ever, there are links in the description of this video over to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come over and join that. That was another pride as well. There's also links to my other social media, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. There's the PO box just you can write into, and of course, the Britannia Coin Company, who I work for as my day job making videos for them, so please do check that out as well. Right, I'm going to check the coins off to the side, see whether we've got any key dates I might have missed. Okay, then, it's a very good result in the key dates. That is one 2017 shield to add to the two we've already found. And then, one, two, three, four, five... 2008 Britannias, which is very, very cool. Let's go with the two we already found. So a good run on the key dates, plus one of these 2019 shields that are tinny, sound really weird when clinks against other coins. And not that I think, again, that there's any sort of value there, but uh, in terms of our star finds, it's got to be one of the Olympics or one of the new 50Ps. They're still very exciting to find these ones, especially having the portrait of King Charles III on the coins too. But uh, I'd love to know in the comments what your favourite coin from today's video is and all it leads me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.